is heading out for a nice little Sunday drive. This is uh, the neighborhood beside our neighborhood in downtown Haiko, Hainan. So you got the typical little Chinese shops all over the place. And it's interesting because each district is known for uh, different categories of supplies. So if you're looking for plumbing supplies, you have to go to one district. If you're looking for printing supplies, you go to another district. If you're looking for refrigerators and appliances, you go to a district. So it's really interesting how everything is organized. So this is one of my favorite little haunts. You've probably seen my videos on YouTube. It's the Starbucks, one of the many Starbucks. There's pretty much one on every corner like you would find uh, Tim Hortons or McDonald's in Canada. And uh, we come here and sit on the patio and push out our work. It's a huge mall, mostly Chinese shops. There's some Western shops in there though, but they're all mostly Chinese shops. There is another big mall over to my left. Let me just make sure I'm not running into anybody here. Um, but there's a bigger mall over to my left and that's where you'll find Calvin Klein and Sephora. And I'm just trying to think of other brands. Tommy, maybe. Um, no, I don't think the Gap is in there. I can't remember, but it's more of a higher end mall. And that's the one there on the left. Pretty much shopping in China is an Olympic sport. So you've got the big international mall there. You've got the huge three-story mall we just drove by. And then there's another M Park mall that has Adidas and a bunch of sporting goods and, and high-end sort of Chinese shops and H&M and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much any district in China, you're going to see shopping malls on every street corner.